Man, Nintendo really has been pulling out the directs. This is our third one in probably less than two months. So this is their, what they're calling their spring showcase. So it is the first day of spring. So I do give them credit for that to say happy spring to everybody. Let's do a showcase about our games. You know, they've been talking about a lot of different games. And so maybe this is an opportunity for them to go in depth more about these games. I really hope to see more. So let's just get started here. here. Let's just do it. Here we go. There could be a lot of things going on. It could be like Pokemon or whatever. Oh, indies. <laughs> Nintendies showcase. Good morning. I am Dr. J.M. Lounsbury from the Ministry of Drink and Health Regulation. While many working adults start their day with coffee, we recommend to switch to milk to complete your regiment of nutrifying activity. If you are making the switch, a very great annoyance which occurs often with milk occurs during the pouring of it. If you tackle a particularly vicious pour without taking the proper care, you're bound to splash all over. Your whole day is ruined. To demonstrate proper pouring technique, I shall apply my face protector. <laughs> if this is a real, like, an old school real commercial, I would be dying of laughter. Like, this, this would be hilarious. And angle it at no more than 45 degrees positively as you approach your drinking vessel. What the I will heck? now begin to pour. Oh. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. You know, I never played Cuphead, but I, I've i heard nothing but great things. This is a great choice to bring Cuphead to the Switch. When? Oh my gosh, that's that's actually sooner. Nope, you're not dreaming. Cuphead is coming to the Nintendo I think Cuphead is just a great choice. You, you know, they they it's a great platforming game. So it's a one that's one that's great to take on the road. Obviously, it's not going to look as good, but still that's not what matters with Cuphead. It still can keep that art style. And, now the beast and is coming their boss battles are, are phenomenal. In this run and gun action game, you'll dodge fire and dish I probably will play it on the Switch. Those gorgeous hand-drawn cell animations rendered Except in classic they're... 1930 style look as good as ever. Hmm. And the live jazz soundtrack by Christopher Madigan will still charm and haunt you in the best of ways. You'll see why when Cuphead launches on Nintendo Switch April 18th. It's available for pre-purchase today. Nice. Hello everyone, I'm Kirk Scott, your friendly neighborhood indie guy. And I'm Katie Casper, the friendly gamer. Thank you for joining as we showcase upcoming games in our first indie showcase of 2019. It's like Bill Nye the science guy, but he's the indie up. guy. And we're just getting started. While we are honored to bring you game series like Super Mario... So obviously Legend this isn't going to be a showcase of the big big games they talked about a couple weeks ago. This is all partner. indies. These games embody the quality of curation that fans have come so to... So I'm curious if some of these are going to be new or That's old. Right, Kirk. Developers across the globe have embraced Nintendo Switch, and they have plenty more unique experiences to share with everyone. Whether it's building a kingdom, vanquishing angels and demons, or just kicking back and tending a farm, games make our dreams a reality. Hmm. With so much available on Nintendo Switch already, we're delighted to show you that there's even more great indie content on the way later this year. See for yourself. First up is Overland, a new take on the end of the world narrative from the creator of Cannonball, Adam Saltzman. Not to mention the gorgeous award-winning visuals by Heather Penn and the haunting original soundscape by Jocelyn mm. Rays. It's a squad-focused, turn-based strategy game where you're faced with difficult choices. Will you search for supplies, heal a wounded ally, fight off a monster, rescue a helpless stranger, save your dog? Please save the dog. Oh, I always save the you dog. Do yeah, save the dog. So choose your actions wisely Dog's man's best friend. friends road trips across the United States. Sounds easy, right? Well, there's a catch. The farther west you go, the weirder things get. Plus, all levels, roadmaps, and characters are randomly generated. Hmm. So every playthrough offers a fresh take on this perilous journey. Travel the post-apocalyptic roads of Overland when it comes to Nintendo Switch 
this fall. That I, the the randomization is something I do like. I don't, I think games don't One take advantage of that enough. To destroy anyone in his sight using moves reminiscent of a violent ballet. Da heck. Guided by a self-aware banana named Pedro. What? <laughs> using his arsenal of absolutely crazy skills, you'll battle through the violent underworlds of Old Town, District Null, and beyond. Go full throttle with all your His aiming is pretty horrible body, though. Jumping, flipping and swinging while putting the drop on your enemies. What? Since you'll be running and gunning, there's bound to be chaos. Slow things down by shifting into slow motion to pace your actions and dual wield destruction with elegant accuracy. My friend Pedro drops in as a console exclusive for Nintendo Switch. Interesting. This June. I don't know what to think of my friend Pedro. <laughs> in the emotional survival game NeoCab, fulfilling your job as a rideshare driver is the only way you might reunite with your best friend Savvy, who's wanted by Capra, an omnipresent mega corporation. In this dystopic future, hmm. you're the last human driver in a city overrun by automation. As you navigate the streets of the fictional California city, Los Ojos, you'll meet a diverse cast of characters, each with their own story arc. Your choices, like picking passengers, balancing your income, sustaining a positive rating, and managing your emotions via the feel grid system, are all elements you need to maintain to keep your job and find your friend. I guess it's not much oh, driving though. Don't forget, Capra is watching. <laughs> Neo Cab is scheduled to arrive on Nintendo Switch this summer. I still like that Nindies. You know, Nindies is a great title. A pack of dogs in the wilderness. This next game will be as close as I ever get. Let's check in with Lindsay Rostel, the game's director. The Iditarod Dog Sled Race is a grueling thousand mile journey embarked upon by teams of dogs and mushers of all ages, genders, and skill levels every year. Anyone can win, but many are just trying to finish, trying to prove to themselves that they can do it. As game director at Timberline Studio, I became fascinated, and some might say a little bit obsessed, mm. with this idea. We knew we wanted to tell a story in the world of dog sledding. And while I don't intend to race in the real Iditarod anytime soon, we're thrilled and a little bit nervous how will that work our debut title it, the red lantern i guess we'll see right now how does dog Do sledding those work moments that stick out in your mind was the word mush when i was mush. a kid i was told you are what you do so choose wisely i could be an astronaut a ceo a painter a doctor i could be anything hi i'm supposed to achieve great things Unfortunately for me, you are also your mistakes. And turns out they tend to remember those more. Hi, I'm a... I'm a disappointment. So, I've decided to become something else. Something that can't be forgotten. I've got a plan. A dog sledder. Th Get a van. Fill it with dogs, go to Alaska, race in the Iditarod dog sled race, and what? finish. Nothing could take that from me. Finish in first place, and yeah. Things we're going to plan. On your dogs, first try. Absolutely. Sled. Oh, health kits. On way. I do like the graphics though. The graphics look However, good. Things tend to Whoa. The plan. Right up until oh, later. bear. Don't. Well, there goes all your dogs. <laughs> you know, I was just enjoying like do, going on the Iditarod and you know you were traveling with training for the grueling Iditarod race. And with your trusty all of a sudden, oh, the Alaskan you're missing a dog. Find your way home. Combining roguelike elements into this story-driven adventure game, hundreds of unique events can occur. Okay. Tend to your dogs, mend your own wounds, I like that. and hunt to survive. Thanks to the Nintendo Switch system's gyro controls. You can look oh. around the environment with a simple turn of the system in handheld mode. No. The red Gyro controls don't Nintendo work Switch that great. Especially in Zelda, they were awful. I, don't know about you, I was like I play horror games, I on the ground turning because I couldn't get the, the, Darkwood is going the gyro to controls to work scarier. right. Don't get me wrong, Darkwood will creep you out. Hopefully you can turn that off. Perspective on survival horror games. Craft weapons, prepare traps. Fortify hideouts, 
You'll explore and scavenge the eerie forests of the Soviet bloc by day, then hunker down in your hideout at night. With nightmarish forces corrupting the woods, wait and pray for the sun to come up the next morning. The world of Darkwood is procedurally generated, meaning locations and events will vary for each playthrough and player. There's no See, it's interesting, but the issue with that is this graphical look looks really bad, and it's really hard to see. I can barely, like, tell the differences between creatures and trees, and it's just mushy. Not, no pun intended, no, no, no pun intended for the, but it's just, it's very mushy with the colors, and so it's really hard to see. Obstacles in your path. Anytime you're a ninja, that's Mysterious fun. Serious powers and precognition allow you to both see the future and manipulate time. As oh, you cut nice. each level, you'll leave no breathing bodies behind. I must recommend caution, though, since your foes can return the favor by eliminating you in a single hit. Oh. Don't fret. The game literally rewinds the beginning of each level for you to learn and improve. Sounds like Prince of Persia. Yes, that should work. After a hard fought I kind of like that. Sip some tea and try to rest. Making you feel really powerful, day, but the truth the of like one bullet will actually kill you. Your demons. Oh. Of course, make sure to get a much needed refill of your medication before the next mission. Now go forth, oh. katana in hand, and remember, leave no survivors. Katana Zero slashes its way to Nintendo Switch April 18th. I'll probably play that one too. It's available for pre-purchase today. This next game is pretty- Wait! Let's save that joke for the developer. Wouldn't it be way cooler if they introduced the next game? Um, totally. if you acted so that better, I would believe you, but Double you're Fine. too corny to tell. Hi, I'm Lee Petty from Double Fine Productions, creator of Stacking and Headlander. And today, we're gonna show you something that has never been seen before. I heard it's rad. Oh, Don't spoil nice it. Tim Schafer. Nice. Psychonauts coming? Psycho I mean, Psychonauts 1? Or Psychonauts 2? Well, I think Psychonauts 2 is the coming for a Switch, but I'm not 100% sure. Destroyed lies in ruin. Or is this a new game? It looks like a new game. If we are to survive, If the world is to blossom again, hmm. then we must find the one who is rad. What? <laughs> this game is called Rad. Righteous. You're so rad that flowers grow behind you. You're that rad. God, there's so many jokes. Mutation. Whoa. Mutation. Mutation. Wow. Okay. This got me more intrigued. Tight. Oh my god. It's almost like the time has come like the new Prince of Persia mixed with The Witness. It's like a mixture of the two where you got like you're growing the environment back but then you have like these lasers that open up doors. Trust me when Pretty I cool. say you have no idea what you're getting yourself a good twist. into with this one. Unless you're talking about a pinball action adventure game, you're right. That's exactly what this is. Not only is Creature in the Well a world terrible debut, acting, it's also a top down action adventure game inspired by the fine art of pinball. It all takes place in the desert, where a giant creature has entrapped townsfolk in an eternal sandstorm. 
As the last engineer tasked with powering up a giant weather machine, your mission is to finish the job once and for all, before the world beyond the sandstorm is forgotten. Luckily, over it sounds cool in concept, but I just don't know. And each one has the power to alter the way you interact with the ricocheting energy orbs in your environment. The controls may be simple, but there's a deep well of skills to master across all eight handcrafted dungeons. While you fight for survival, savor every corner of this painterly world in all its pinball glory. When Creature in the Well emerges from the depths this summer. Nah. Not really interested in that one. You know, it's a cool concept, thought-wise, but it, execution doesn't look good. Alone, vastly outnumbered and hell-bent on enacting his revenge. On the bright side, Did you see he's beat him with a carrot and a wolf on his head. That means you don't mess with this guy. The world is his weapon, <laughs> and in this fast-paced, top-down action game, Whoa. Paper Cult, it's yours too. So. Choreograph the most spectacular combos you can using everything from hatchets to ladders to carrots. Your alternative? Whoa. Basically just death. Better improvise and fast as our lone anti-hero, Mr. Wolf, brawls his way to the very heart of the mystery that plagues him. That's intriguing. Find out just how it looks this western the thing that makes it look good is that it's easy. It looks easy and accessible for anyone to feel like they're doing well with the combinations, but then there's depth that looks like that, you know, you actually have to try like you to be to be really, really good. There's ways to do it and there's ways to practice to get there. Is that an alligator or a crocodile? I don't know the difference to be honest. So you have a crew of foxes. Oh my gosh, pine. <laughs> A primal fantasy collides oh. with the advanced game design of today in pine. In this open world third person action adventure game, the world and your enemies will adapt to your choices. You'll travel it gives me a Horizon Zero Dawn vibe. And encounter five factions of creatures itching to dominate the food chain. The only way mm. to prepare is to scavenge barter, harvest, craft items, and sell them at the market to stock up on supplies. It'll be a true fight for survival when Pine goes wild on Nintendo Switch this August. Man, I love arcade games, but I'm thinking it's time we bring some more to Nintendo Switch. How about some games from Rami Ismail and Yon You Bilani might as well just play Legend of Zelda Studio, Breath of the Wild. Yes. If you're going to play that game, but the people want basically. To know what games and when you won't have to wait long to fight endless hordes of enemies because super hmm. crate box is coming out next month it'll be the first time players can engage in fast-paced multiplayer matches a feature that's exclusive to the nintendo switch version hmm. interesting Plus, nuclear throne comes out today it's an oh we got a shadow drops who spend their day fighting for the throne in a gritty post-apocalyptic world whether solo or with a fellow mutant buddy in co-op mode, you can become ruler of the wasteland. Oh, and we have a new game announcement, Vlambeer Arcade. It's a collection of bite-sized games which will have a growing catalog over time, starting with Ultra Bugs. That doesn't really explain a lot, Ultra though. Ultra Bugs is a fast-paced, high-score-centric game where you pilot a ship to fight endless space bugs that split up into more space bugs when you defeat them. But never fear. Defeating the occasional boss monsters, Ultra Bugs, will unlock enemy DNA that you can use to customize your ship. Vlambeer Arcade with Ultra Bugs is coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Hmm. Shooter fans. They all look the same. Planes out of the sky, destroyed starships in outer space, and now the 2D Oh, I'm gonna genre put my hand on my chin. I'm sorry I'm making fun of this girl, but she's just way too cheesy. 
variety of weapons and, and she ain't selling it mode or versus modes for one to four players or bots this multiplayer underwater shooter comes with an oceanic amount of content with more than 100 oh i like what he did there oceanic game modes including five versus game modes and five entire worlds to battle across in adventure mode you'll be able to toggle between classic dual stick controls and motion mm. aiming whether you're playing locally or online the online functions include matchmaking support just doesn't look ex doesn't look anything in different game voice chat or the party system see where you rank on the online leaderboard when swim sanity makes a splash on Nintendo switch this summer next up check out the newest game from our friends at Inti creates love those guys Inti creates and Sunsoft present the long-awaited sequel to the mutant blasting action adventure game blaster master zero is coming to Nintendo switch Your new battle tank, G Sophia, is equipped with the Gaia system. Harness SP for its weapons. Just they named it two girl names, <laughs> Gia Sophia. Takes damage. Build your arsenal of powerful sub weapons and blast any beaten scum that stands in your way as you traverse each. Stage. Yeah, I gotta say the music, the vibes, pretty cool. I like the change up in the gameplay between the driving the cart and the, you know, shooting around. They can be chained into multiple attacks that dish out lots of Do I have the time to play this and buy it? Probably not, to be honest. Blaster Master Zero Two. The stage is set. If I traveled space, enough, I probably and would. More to explore than ever before. As you travel across the galaxy to a host of different planets and their orbiting planetoids. Search for new items that power up both G Sophia and Jason. During their journey, Jason and Eve will cross paths with a motley cast of fellow metal attacker tank pilots and their support droids. Will their fellow pilots become trusted friends or bitter enemies? Hmm. Mutant Blasting Action is back! Blaster Master Zero Two! Available today! Another shadow drop in. Her, Law numbers. Why are you upside down right now? Well, there are many theories as to why, but the true reason remains a mystery. Perhaps there's an alternate dimension within these very walls that, until just recently, lay dormant. Or perhaps someone flipped the camera. No one can be sure. Basically, the game mechanic. Oh, I, yeah, they did announce this at uh, the Game Awards. Stranger Things had a game coming out. I get it, the upside down. I wonder what this comes out. Because they actually just announced Stranger Things 3 with a trailer. Well, I mean, they, we knew it were coming, but it had its first trailer come out uh, just this morning. So, this is a... I'm curious when we'll get this, because the show comes out July 4th. As soon as I say it. <laughs> so, I'll be out when the show comes out on the 4th, on the season. It's no longer a mystery that the official game of Stranger Things Season 3 is coming to Nintendo Switch. This retro-style adventure game lets you play through and delve deeper into the events of Season 3 alongside a friend in local co-op. Huh. Explore I wonder the town if... of Hawkins, solve puzzles, battle enemies, and uncover mysteries as one of 12 playable characters. The only issue is if this covers... Series. Cancel your long weekend Things. plans because the game arrives on Nintendo Switch the very same day as the third season on Netflix. See? Hey, stranger things have happened. Oh, I see what you did there. That was good. Okay, that's quite a selection of games coming soon to Nintendo Switch. But guess what? There's there are more. Tons of great indie games available right now on the system. To celebrate indie games and their creators, we're running a sale on some of these fantastic offerings. Oh, let's From see what Fire they got on sale. From Yoku's Island Express, there's no shortage of games and distinctive worlds at your fingertips. Inside. Make sure to check them out on Nintendo eShop later today. On behalf of Nintendo, we'd like to thank all the indie developers that bring their incredibly unique game worlds to Nintendo Switch and the avid players that support indie games. We are extremely grateful. Huh. One more thing. thing.
Finally, I'm almost out of this crypt. But this isn't the world I remember. She's like hopping instead of walking. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be at the rhythm. I think I was called here for a purpose. Is that why she's hopping? It looks like I've got work to do. And this time, I have help. Oh. Is, does he hop? Oh, he's hopping. And she's hopping. Well, that's a uh, video just cut out on me. So I guess that's where I'm going to have to end it. Unfortunately, I can't see anymore. Okay. That's weird. But hey, I'll take it. Uh, you know, first off, we didn't expect indie stuff. I didn't expect indie stuff, at least unless you did. I'm not sure. You know, the indie stuff looked okay. You know, there's a couple games that looked pretty good. And, you know, unfortunately, the tricky part with indie games is if they're too much of the same, you know, uh, I, I appreciate that these developers try their best to make the games that they want to make and the best games that they can make. But unfortunately, what the issue we run into with too many indie games and saturating the, the market is that we need unique experiences, unique indie, in, indie experiences, something like Celeste, unique you know, something that you feel like you know, but it's yet it's unique enough that, you know, you want to play it, that it, it makes it different than anything else. And that you, that you, that's basically it. It's just unique and different. And that's what's the important part. So fortunately, we didn't get to watch the full thing because it cut off in the, in the end. But, you know, I'll just take what is there. So that is my reaction. What do you think about these indie games? Is there any one of them that you're necessarily excited for? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this content, check out the rest of the content I have on the channel on freeze frame rate. Go ahead and give it a like with a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to keep up with everything I release here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mitch and I'm signing off saying see you soon.